This video is a basic workflow that can be followed for drilling and tiling. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the hole selected that I want to drill. Line up my machine with that hole. It's easy if I line up my roll axis in the direction of the hole when you're looking at the bullseye view. You can see it's at zero, zero. And then all I need to worry about is moving forward. So as I move forward, when I get within double my tolerance, the bullseye should turn yellow. And when I get within my tolerance, the bullseye will turn green. So before I start drilling, I make sure the bullseye is green here. My red indicator is between the green on my roll axis and between the green on my pitch axis. And then I press F1 to start drilling. That'll save the start point. You can see I'm drilling down with this black line being my design endpoint. And when I reach it, I press F3. So that hole's done. Now I move on to my next hole. Move towards it. Get as close as possible to zero, zero in both axes. And then I can press F1 to start saving it, or I can press this button right here, which does effectively the same thing as F1 and F3. So I tap it once to save. It's showing the active status. So it's showing play because I'm actively drilling right now. And then to stop it, I'll touch this again when I reach my design endpoint. And that is the typical workflow that you'll follow for all the holes or piles until you're completed with your project.